Hi everyone, Gig Coach Jake back with great news for all you gig workers, especially those that are dashers. Now I know a big issue that we've had with DoorDash is their lack of transparency and their pay model. There's low as one dollar. Well, I have great news for all of you that are dashers or thinking about being dashers in the future. There now they have been beta testing a pay summary that shows the actual breakdown. So I'm going to show you several screenshots where it shows the actual base pay, that one dollar, Hopefully it goes up some point. The tip, so how much tip you made, and then any additional pay. So for example, my market's $5 minimum. So if nobody tips, they have the $1, the additional pay will be $4. They tipped $1 additional pay would be $3. Just to give an idea of what that additional pay means. It is not the peak pay. So looking at the screenshot right here, just to give an idea, like I said, it's right after you're done, you hit delivered. The screen that normally popped up, right? You would see any extra earnings, and then you put a smiley face, sad face, blah, blah, blah. This is what you're actually gonna see. So like I said, you'll see that they increase the additional pay to meet that minimum. Mine's $5. And you see another one right here where their base is $7 in their market. Pretty fortunate, right? So they added that extra pay in there to meet that $7. So we're all thinking the $1, we're fixating on the $1, right? The delivery pay on that was $5, right? So you can really see in a lot of situations we're paying out a lot. Now, on top of that, like I said, they're showing out the breakdown. So the breakdown, we can see in each spot how much we're making. Here's a few screenshots that I'll show. But again, you can see the base pay, that $1, very clear on that. Hopefully that goes up again, like I said. And then the tip, it's very nice to see that, right? So the more information we can gather, the better decisions we can make in the future, whether it's a good spot to work, bad spot, yada, yada. Anyhow, then you can also see the additional pay. Now again, this is not the peak pay. This is the additional pay to meet the minimum or whatever the guarantee. So like in one you see it was like 563 or an odd amount. It was just the extra to meet that guarantee that they sent. So they're not all bad. Yes, the $1 sucks, but a lot of times they're paying out higher than that. Now you'll see in the last screenshot where it's kind of the bad side of things where there's higher tips and they're paying out lower. Well, to compare them with some other companies right now, Grubhub, in my market and a lot of other markets, that new pay model that they have is pretty similar. I'm getting paid less than $3 for delivery pay, mileage, and time. And a Grubhub offers, we spend a lot of time waiting in relation to these other companies. So, not all bad. Now, Grubhub is also subsidizing in some markets on some of these offers too. So, similar there. Now, while Grubhub is going backwards, DoorDash is going the right way. They're increasing their transparency while Grubhub is less transparency. And like I said, hopefully this leads to an increase in the base pay. Now that it's clear as day how low is they're paying. So there's a lot of pressure there. And again, if they wanna continue their rise on Grubhub and really capture that market share lead and hold on to it, they're gonna to have to increase that base pay. They're gonna have a consistent revolving door of door dashers. We cannot, I mean, I know they talk 17, 18 an hour is what drivers are making. That is not enough in the gig economy as independent contractors. If we're employees, absolutely that would be good money. We're not. So, for example, right now Amazon is paying out, they have full-time opportunities for $16.25 an hour plus benefits, 40 hours a week. So, not using a vehicle. They give you a vehicle to use, right? So, put that into perspective, the comparison of $17.18 an hour in my market doing gig work to the opportunity is working for someone like Amazon, who has great benefits and is a great company. So DoorDash, you need to raise that base pay. Thank you for increasing transparency. This helps a lot, especially for all those that think you're stealing tips. They can now see how often that you're adding additional pay when these people either don't tip or tip very low. So step in the right direction, but we need an increase in that $1 delivery pay. Hope this video helped. If anything, motivate some of you for the future to good things ahead for DoorDash. Have fun out there, be safe, and as always, work smarter.